guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you're new here, I've got an Instagram account, TikTok account, and a YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and welcome to a random video that I just decided I'm gonna film right now while I am shooting these pajamas. <laughs> I've just shot a reel for Portmore, and it was like a Christmas advent calendar, and I just thought, I really want to do like a Christmassy vlog. I've got a really nice weekend ahead of us. So I thought, you know what? I've seen so many people doing like Vlogmas and these little cute Christmassy things and I've got FOMO. So I wanted to try and do one, which is what I'm going to do right now. So while I'm in my little Christmas festive PJs, I am cooking a little, well, me and Anthony call it a picky tea, where you literally pretend that you're at a buffet. <laughs> pretend that you're at a buffet and then you have like loads of little different things on your plate lots of cheese, lots of wine, lots of meat. So this is to kick start our little Christmassy weekend off, Friday. Um, he's just at boxing right now and I'm just gonna start putting the food on now that I've just finished filming. I need to tidy the chaos around me that I'm not prepared to show you guys. Um, but tomorrow morning we are driving down to London really early and going to stay, I think we're staying in like Tottenham Court Road. Um, and then we're meeting some friends down there, hopefully going to Winter Wonderland. And then we are also going for dinner at Am Amazonia, I think it's called, I can't remember how to pronounce it. Um, and then we are on Sunday driving over to Oxford to meet some other friends and we're gonna go to Bicester Village. So again, this is why I really wanted to do this vlog because I thought, wow, like I've always wanted to go to Bicester and I know so many people are always a bit like, is there anything actually good there? And coming from someone who owns probably like three design items in total, maybe four now, um, I am such a bargain hunter and I will only spend money on things that I absolutely really, really want and will use over and over again. You will not catch me with like a design handbag that like, is a bright colour or a trend or anything like that, I just will not do it. Anyway, I digress, I'm gonna put food in the oven right now, so when Anthony gets back from boxing, has a bath, food will be ready, wine, and we can just chill before I have to start packing, because as always, I'm so last minute, I haven't packed a single thing for London, and we're going in the morning, so I'll catch you wine and cheese night. I just wanna make things right. So we haven't got the Christmas memo yet, there's no Christmas decorations. We have just been so busy, so I'm gonna light a few candles tonight, make it feel warm and Christmassy. These are just nothing special, just from Aldi. And then I'm gonna put Real Housewives Vacation on. I'm literally obsessed with Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and they've now done a vacation one where all their different desperate housewives are together, so I'll be watching that while I make tea. Anthony's back, he's going to get in the bath. Our Christmas tree will be here, <laughs> it's just not ready yet. Um, we need to go buy one. We usually we get like a real one, but um, this year I think we're actually going to buy a fake one to actually keep this year. I've got new slippers. I've been saving these for so long because I just had new carpet put in. I've been saving these slippers for when we get new carpet, which actually happened not yesterday, but the day before. And it just feels so nice and clean. And the house is all ready for Christmas because we're, we're hosting Christmas dinner this year, which I'm super excited for because we've got both families together. So I'm now going to put in the oven camembert. I've got some like little uh, chicken things. Half of it's from Aldi, half of it's from Marks and Spencers. Personally, I feel like Aldi is outdoing Marks and Spencers on the Christmas food front right now. So I'll show you what we're gonna have. First of all, I need a glass of red wine as well. And I don't know, I'm just so into Christmas food and cheese. Like I literally can feel the weight gain on me, but I'm not even angry. I'm just like, cheese is life. Oh, and I also bought a new chopping board from B&M, which I'm really excited for because it's like one of those serving boards. So it looks fancy and like, you know, I am literally such a cliche, but I just get so excited about something like this. <laughs> I'm going to show you. So we have bread rolls that you heat up. Cornish Cruncher Cider Cheese Bake M&S. Divine. Not tried this yet, but I'm excited. Do love the one from Aldi though, so it'd be hard to beat. Then I've got this from Aldi, which looks delicious. Love all my Italian hams and with camembert. This one I got from Aldi. I mean, look at the designs. Like, there is literally like, <laughs> they're so close, it's crazy. So this is a red onion baking camembert, but usually we put camembert with, it's got a bit on the front, <laughs> you know, caramelized onion chutney, and then I put a little bit of balsam vinegar on there as well. Cheers, guys! <laughs> I 
I'm gonna include this because people need to see the real you. We... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's the next day. It's standard situation up running late and she's just packing the car up. Um because I literally ran into the car because I've only got my hair in curlers. I look like um Lord Farrick or whatever his name is from um Shrek. And I've had my makeup done by Rachel this morning and now we are finally on our way to London. So I will catch you guys when we get legs. Four and a half hour journey is a little bit boring. Yum. <laughs> Men are just staring at the stick. I've already started eating, I'm sorry guys, I'm so bad at it. But we're at Amazon 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 And the food is unbelievable. Anthony's happy. <laughs> Good. Done. Breakfast in bed with this hangover. Hello guys, sorry I was so rubbish with vlogging last night, I was having so much fun. I forgot to show you my outfit, I was in such a rush, I didn't take my camera out with me, so I grabbed like a quick video of the meal, but um, I wore the ELR style new blue set, and I'm so good I didn't get loads of videos in it because it looked so nice. I felt so special in it, especially with that misguided coat, it just felt so nice, and I had the best night. We were very hungover this morning, the drive to Oxford was hard and we've just had a nap, I've just woke up now. I'm gonna go to the spa. Um, we are staying in Bista Village Hotel Golf Spa Hotel, I don't know, anyway. We're just about to go downstairs and have a little swim into sauna and I'm actually wearing ELR style swimsuit. It is literally perfect for the spa because it's so supportive and it's just like good coverage. It's not gonna be like, you're in the spa and everything's like, hang me out. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're wearing that to this bar. Um, and then I think we're gonna go try to find somewhere to have Sunday lunch. And then our friends Marcus and Lauren are also meeting us down here. So they're driving from Harrogate um, right now. So they should be with us in the next few hours. And then tomorrow we are getting up so early to be at Vista before it even opens. So we are there ready to shop. I am literally ready to grab a bargain tomorrow, honestly. I'm excited, I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go to this bar now, have some relaxation time, and hopefully I'll keep remembering to grab my camera. <laughs> Good morning! We are literally so early. We are on our way to Bista Village already. We have had breakfast, the hotel breakfast was actually really nice, and now it's 9.06. We are on our way to Bista to make the most of day shopping. Anthony is like really excited because he can't wait to be dragged around <laughs> all the shops. We're also with our friends Lauren and Marcus they're in their car behind, so I will take you around all of the, bit, the bits. I don't really know what to expect to be honest. So I'm hoping to get some good bargains. Um, Lauren, who you might remember from my Ibiza vlog, um, she has seen as like a military operation. She's got a map. She's like really planned out the whole thing. So I'm gonna let her take the lead on where we're going and what happens. Um, the hotel we stayed in, you get an extra 10% off if you stay there. So we've got that ready to go. And yeah, I think you have to like virtually queue. So that's the reason we're going so early to get all the virtual queue things done. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. I'm excited. This is where we're near Cafe Wolsey right now and we're going to head to the middle intersection across Gucci and Dior and the new Saint Laurent shop. How are you? Let's go! That's good because I've got it attached to my Apple wallet. It's like really calm, it's like yeah. 9 o'clock in the morning um, yeah. and we're like, well, we're more than anything, we're just excited that we're together. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Early run advice. So when I was in the car, I was doing like an introduction, I was like, you might remember Lauren from uh, Vlog Abiso, she's making a feature again today. <laughs> she's back. We're getting so busy. Oh my gosh, it's so busy. Literally, at this time in the morning, it's already packed. It is 20 minutes look at all the cars, nine. it's crazy. We're ready. Honestly, she is so funny. So this is Emma Bridgewater. Right. Oh, we like this shot. Can I go up? I really, ooh. I wonder if there's like a little... No, 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 I will be coming. I will be coming back to this one. Yes. <laughs> She's so giddy. Oh my God, Gucci. Right, let's go Gucci straight away. 
door here as well. Okay, we may as well go for YouTube because look, there's already a queue. <gasps> okay. So if yours doesn't have a queue. Funny. Oh, get in that queue oh. ASAP, ladies. Oh, we're getting in that queue ASAP. <laughs> Move this child out of the way. Oh my god, where are the boys? Come on. Okay, so we, we got here at that time and we're still 64 in the queue for Gucci. So we're just waiting to be able to go in. Yeah, we walked straight into Dior. We're just trying to find um, where it's now and have a little wander around. So we've been to all the big shops now. We've done like we've done Wear Cell, we um, did a Swashy. Like yeah, we've done a Yeah, we've done all the, we all the major done, ones. Like, a thorough investigation of each one. No, we're gonna let the boys go after lunch and we're gonna do every we're shop. Like, home in, like Monica from Friends when she's trying to find a wedding dress. <laughs> yeah. Yes, basically. Um but also so far we've got a Gucci tie. <laughs> A Gucci, a Gucci wallet, present. a birthday present, <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna buy the Prada bag because I do really like that. I really need to go back to summer. On. This weather is not the one. This is like the worst to shop in. Look at my what face that? with this hood. I look ridiculous. Where are we going for lunch, lol? We're going to Cafe Wolsey, which is like um, it's just basically the weather diffusion line for the Wolsey in London. Cute. The boys dragging behind. Yeah. They've had a lot of sitting down. Guys, we are on our way home. It is 3.40. We've left Lauren and Marcus to it because Lauren still wanted some more shops and we are done. Jeez. Um, But I made some notes. We got speaking to quite a few of the staff at this store that work at different places. So, some really good tips that I found. So if you are watching this in the hopes that you're gonna go to Bista and you, you wanna know like when to go and whatever, YSL told me that they get their delivery on a Friday and for them, the stock is really good. At the moment, they have a lot of um, branded stuff that says like YSL and stuff on it, which they said they don't usually have. Um, but for, for the moment, they have a lot of good stock, stock in. Personally, I didn't see anything that I liked and I got my YSL bag from Farfetch by using a discount code so you get 10% off any 
brand from Farfetch and then I also used an affiliate link so I ended up getting the money back so you could just do the same thing I'll link that down below in the description if you want to do that then Dior I got speaking to the lady there and she said that right now is a really bad month to come to Dior they've got no stock in um, January to February is a be much better time but they said that they'll be getting their next lot of stock in for the new season obviously it's old season but um, in maybe like February March time so that's a really good time to come um, but at the minute they said that Dior keep a lot of the stock for their own stores so it's actually better to shop at the moment from the Dior stores rather than Bista um, and then another thing is we got there at quarter past nine and we went straight to Gucci that was the first place we did the online queue and we were 68 in the queue so the girl from Dior basically told me that a lot of the traders that come so basically what people do is they go in buy stuff that they're looking for and then they sell it online um, and they come in like literally when the gate opens they run to Gucci and um, that's why we were 68 in the queue so by the time we got there there wasn't a lot of stuff left um, but we ended up getting a nice little card wallet for Anthony and a tie and then I got my Prada bag so all in all like it's been a really good trip I'm definitely glad we came because I wanted that Prada bag anyway um, but I just couldn't afford to pay like the two three grand it was where I've got it for £950 and I feel like it's a really timeless piece it'll go with so many different things and I just wanted like a really classic bag that I know is going to go with loads of outfits and be good for like in a professional environment so yeah I did really well I feel really bad for Lauren though because she had her hopes on a YSL bag and there just wasn't anything that she liked um but she did end up getting a Christian Dior choker that I included which was really nice but I don't know personally like it was a three and a half hour drive for us and I'm like would I come again probably probably not unless I knew there was gonna be something there but one good thing is that we got speaking to one of the um sales assistants in Dior and she gave me her details so she said if I just want to whatsapp her and just like ask if what's in stock she'll send me pictures so obviously you don't have to come all this way um, which I think you can actually find the details of like the personal shoppers and stuff on the website so you can probably do that anyway before you come um, but I don't know like I'm not somebody who's like obsessed with design having designer things so for me it's more like I want to collect things over time um, and I wouldn't just buy something for the sake of it so I think I've done really well out of it and I've enjoyed it and it's been like a nice day out to add to our London trip so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys really soon thank you bye just wanna make things right